All right, guys. Is this a good thumbnail? I've made a decision. Long story short, I've decided I need to sell one of my cars. I do this thing where I buy cars with the intent to make money off of them, that, um, and then like them a lot. So, uh, for one, you can definitely strike off the ST, that's not getting sold. You can definitely strike off the Volvo, that's not getting sold. The Miata, not getting sold, and the Rabbit, most definitely is not getting sold. So, what does that leave us with? The beloved 944 is going to be for sale here soon. I know a lot of people were really excited about the LS swap idea, and I was too, but I really uh, thought about things, and I've come to the conclusion that it's not a good idea, so let me tell you why. So, I'm sitting in the 944. I love this thing. I love the dash. I love how 80s Volkswagen Auto Group it is. It's a great car. That's a little better. As you guys know, I got this car with the intent to make money off of it. And I still am convinced that if I put an LS in it, I could trade it for something or sell it for maybe three or close to $4,000. You guys also know that I'm technically in this car negative $20. Um, with having parted out the black Miata, I basically got paid $20 to have this car. And Laker's doing great stuff with the Black Miata, by the way. That thing's almost ready to go again. So, I realized that it is a little ambitious to want to spend $2,000 or $2,500 swapping this car when I could literally sell it as is, not running, and probably make a few hundred dollars profit. Now, it does run. It just doesn't run well. So, I don't think it's a bad idea to pour a couple hundred dollars into it. Sorry, I just coughed a bunch and now I sound... So we're going to start with a fuel filter because as you guys saw from the previous video, it runs just not well and it acts like it's flooding out, but it could be super lean too from not getting enough gas of a clogged injector or something or really bad fuel filter. This thing's got old gas. It sat for years before Laker got it. So my solution is going to be to uh, try and get as much of the bad gas out as possible. Um, maybe just take the fuel line and hot wire the pump and just pump as much out as we can but I don't really want to put the bad gas through the pump necessarily we could just dilute it and put a you know five or six gallons of new gas in there and hope that it cleans up all right because it runs as is on this old gas but uh, the basics you know a fuel filter new spark plugs and uh, maybe plug wires I'm pretty sure Laker just did new plug wires but can't hurt to do new spark plugs again and then if that doesn't work we'll start looking at some injectors I found a bunch of people that have some used 2.5 Porsche injectors that uh, will sell them to me cheap. So I think my best course of action is going to be to get it running good and put it up for sale for like 1700 bucks. And then uh, I really want to take some trades because um, my intent was to start doing kind of a, a trading up type thing with this car. Like start with a cheap car, trade it for something else, trade it for something else, trade it up for something else. And just keep trading until I have a car I can sell for a decent amount of money. And ultimately, the end goal was, you know, pay off my student loan debt. Because that would be a sick thing to do with just trading up. And I think it could make a good series. And the YouTube channel idea was always to kind of have new project cars fluidly. And just, you know, keep going from car to car. But like I said, every time I buy a car, I end up liking it and want to keep it. So now the Miata initially, I was like, yeah, I can make some money off this if I don't like it. And now I like it. The other day I was like, maybe I'll sell the Miata and then we can do the Porsche project. And then I drove the Miata and I was like, no. And I know that issue is going to come up again once this thing's running okay and I take it for a drive. But this one is the one I'm least attached to. So it's going to have to go. It does mean we're going to have some cool content coming up on this, trying to get it to run properly. All the electrics work. It doesn't have a stereo. Um, I have the other wheel that got hit in when it got wrecked, but it's neither here nor there. Um, we also have some cool content coming up with Brennan's S12 Turbo and probably his S13. Not to mention I got a 
put the Volvo's engine back together, which is what this is segueing into. But yeah, ultimately, I just, uh, I don't think fiscally it's a good idea to go ahead with this LS swap now. And I do want to get another one down the road, a clean 944, and I do still want to do an LS swapped one. So maybe we'll come back to this, but as of now, I won't say it's not in the budget, because if I just saved up for a little bit, it could be in the budget, but it's not a wise decision for use with my budgeting. Right, you know, right now I'm not in a position to dump money into this car and this car and the Volvo and the Rabbit and the Miata. I kind of got to focus on one at a time. So Porsche is going to go bye-bye. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think would be a cool car to try and trade it for or sell this and buy to kind of continue progressing and make money off of cars. Hondas, obviously, you get them for $400, clean them up a little bit and sell them for a grand if they're running funny and you put new plugs in it or whatever. I did it with a Volkswagen not too long ago, well a few years ago I guess. I bought a Jetta GLX, a Mark III with a VR6, it was misfiring, paid 800 bucks for it, put a new $40 coil on it, sold it for $1200 two weeks later. After I bought the Rabbit actually I was going to keep the Mark III even though I don't like them that much and then the Mark I came up for sale. All bets were off. Um, but what I'm really kind of set on trying to find is a decent S chassis, uh, S13 that's not too modified. Because around here, an S13 is the ultimate trade for whatever you want vehicle. I know someone who just traded a WRX for one, and that is just ignorant. But an S13 would be the ideal platform for profiting around here. So, uh, yeah. That's all there is to it, boys. S13 is kind of on the radar, but if you guys have a suggestion for me, let me know. I do have another car. I don't want to say it yet. I have to talk to a friend. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get to Volvo work. Alright, guys. After that bombshell of news, it's time to start working on the Volvo again. So, I'm going to get to it. Oh, you didn't want me to do it by myself? Alright, fine. I'll bring Ross in. So, so dude, let's do some Volvo stuff. Right. Decisions have been made. Soon. Places it somewhere else. Well, guys, decisions have been made. If you were in the live stream, don't spoil it for everyone else. But those decisions entail us uh, putting the engine on a stand, taking it all the way apart. Let's do it. All right, Ross is gonna pull this out and there's a perfectly good seal in there that's pretty much brand new and it's going to break in half. Alright, exhaust manifold and turbo are off. Time to pull the valve cover. Let's yank this head. You know what we gotta use for that? Mega torque! You guys gotta turn your volume up a little bit and listen to these things crack loose. It's an it's incredible. Yeah. Oh. You gotta jerk it, dude. Man, you really gotta like just go to pound pound. Yeah. It's a little squirrely on the entry. Yeah. I feel like it's just because it's young. Find the mark.
I get the bag. Hey. Alright, gentlemen, this is a Volvo, so what do we do with these? Use them again. It'll be fine. According to the Volvo Green Book Original Factory Repair Manual, up to five times. Alright, so one and four at the top, which means those rods aren't bent. Um, two and three definitely could be, but we're not going to turn the crank and find out. We can. I mean, we'll know once we pull them out. That's true. My 12.10 mil is missing, so we're using this wrench from Harbor Freight that got slightly modified when breaking the first couple of loose. Alright, next idea. <laughs> Up. Bro? Yeah. All right, shall we take these pistons out? Okay, let's turn it a little bit out. I guess. Perfect. Let's see. Keep going, keep going. Go, go, speed racer! <laughs> Alright, now's a good time for you to mention that uh, me and Brennan and Tyler have been streaming on Twitch. So if you guys want to help us get a Twitch partnership, that'd be pretty sick. It's uh, Three Broke Boys. I just put it on the screen. And uh, I'll put the link in the pinned comment and the description. We're going to try and do three to four streams a week, but we've been doing it every night just because we like playing Rocket League. But Saturdays are especially rowdy because we drink first. It was intense last Saturday. We weren't even streaming, but it got wild. Let's see if I can kind of get some light in here, but all the cylinder walls look excellent. You can still see the factory cross hatching. Let me see if I can kind of convey that. Not really. There you go. Kind of. This is a fairly low mileage engine for Volvo anyway, so it looks good, pistons look good, no scratches on the cylinder walls, like my V-dub. You do it, ladies and gentlemen. The long sought after single head gasket removal. No, it's going to be right where these studs are, where it'll break. If it breaks. But it'll probably break. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's done it. He's done it. Oh. Well guys, I think that's about going to do it. Uh, join us next time when the Volvo gets a cool package for some bottom end stuff. Oh, actually, next time will be a Steve video. So, for the 1,000 people who watch this one, get ready for 5,000 people to watch that one. <laughs> In the meantime, thank you guys very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching us take this engine apart. It's going to be pretty sick when we get it back together. Hopefully in time for July's event. If, if we can start putting it back together this weekend, I think we can. We'll see. But uh, in the meantime... Don't forget to subscribe, go check out our Twitch channel and the Rocket channel if you want. All that stuff will be in the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Submit your entries for Car of the Video to CursedForeverHelp at gmail.com. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.